We're in Microsoft Word and we want to add bookmarks in our document. I'm going to add a bookmark just before this heading. So one way to do this would be to click just before the heading. Go to the Insert tab on our ribbon in the Links group. Click on the Bookmark button. Give the bookmark a name, which cannot contain spaces. Click on Add and you've inserted a bookmark. Now it's a good idea to be able to see the bookmarks in your document. Go to File, Options, Advanced, scroll down, show document content, show bookmarks. Click on OK. You can see you've got this insertion point or I-beam there. That's the bookmark. If you select text, include a bookmark themes styles you'll see you get square brackets around the bookmark now how do we use these bookmarks well the idea is that you are meant to be able to easily navigate to the bookmarks now one way of doing that is to use go to which is control G on your keyboard and in the go to what list make sure bookmark is selected and then over here you'll get a list of bookmarks that you can navigate to so if i select headers of footers there click on go to it'll jump to that bookmark same with themes and styles i'll close out of that dialog box another thing you can do is hyperlink to a bookmark so if i wrote headers and footers here which would be the text for my hyperlink I select the text control k on my keyboard in this dialog box make sure place in this document is selected and then you'll see a bookmarks section here and we're going to click on headers and footers click on ok and now if I control click on this hyperlink, it'll take me to that bookmark. You can also cross reference to a bookmark. So I want to cross reference to themes and styles. Please see section on space. So the cross reference button is just below the bookmark button. Reference type. You need to make sure bookmark is selected in that drop down. Insert reference to bookmark text. So that'll be the text that is enclosed within the bookmark. And I want to cross reference the themes and styles bookmark. Click on insert, click on close. Now, in my document, this paragraph has now adopted the style, the heading two style that's been applied to this bookmark. Now, I can't think that that's a very sensible piece of functionality in Microsoft Word. If I select the paragraph and apply the normal style, it's also inserted a carriage return, which I'll delete. But now, if I control click on this cross reference, it would take me to that bookmark. Now, if you want to delete a bookmark, go back to your insert tab on your ribbon, go to your bookmarks button, select the bookmark you want to delete and click on delete. Now this option down here, hidden bookmarks, if you tick that, any bookmarks that you've created with hyperlinks or cross references will create hidden bookmarks. So that's what those options are there. So if you happen to delete a hyperlink or a cross reference, you might want to go in here and delete the bookmarks that have been created using those methods. Otherwise, just keep this tick box unticked. Now, if you're exporting your Word document to PDF, you can also include your bookmarks in that export. And the way to do that is go to File, Export, Create PDF, then go to Options, and under include non-printing information tick create bookmarks using 
And you can either export bookmarks where you've used heading styles or word bookmarks. Well, we'll try word bookmarks, click on OK, click on publish. So here's my PDF document. Down the side here is a little bookmark button and there is the one remaining bookmark in my document. If I click on it, it will take me to the relevant part of the document. Okay, let's close down our PDF. Now, just a little warning about editing a document that contains bookmarks. For example, I've got a bookmark here before my heading. If I wanted to add some lines above my heading, I click just before the H of the heading and I press enter. You can see the bookmark then becomes detached from my heading. It stays where it is. I'll just put that back. The thing to do would be to press enter after the previous paragraph, and then it brings the bookmark down with the heading. But you can see how important it is to display your bookmarks in your document. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to see what was happening to the bookmark. Now I'll create another bookmark within this paragraph. Maybe I'll bookmark this paragraph here. Call it tables. Now if I try and add text to the end of this paragraph after the full stop, you'll see that the new text appears outside the bookmark. So if you wanted it to exist within the bookmark, what you're gonna to have to do is type somewhere within the text. So then I could maybe put my full stop there and then capitalize this and get rid of the full stop at the end but you can see how important it is to show the bookmarks on the screen so you can see exactly what's happening within your document. Okay, so that's all I really wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.